My name is Ken Brown and I've been involved in golf for the best part of 45 years. I first played in 1976 and by 1977 I couldn't believe it, I was a Ryder Cup player so I played my first Ryder Cup when I was 20. And then between there and 1987 I missed one so I played all the Ryder Cups. In 85 we won for the first time at the Belfry, in 87 I was lucky enough to be a member of the team that won in America uh, and of course being part of a team with the Seves and the, and the Faldos and the Langers and the Lyles and the Woosnams. It was, it was absolutely an amazing thing. We had a, a, a great team. And at that time we kind of changed golf for Europe. Suddenly, you know, America always used to be, and suddenly Europe was starting to win and that's gone on and on. And winning in Europe was, was, was a big achievement when I won the Irish Open early doors. And, and I played five or six years in America and eventually won over there. I worked for Sky for seven, eight years and then moved on to working for the BBC, which I've done since. And then I started doing Ken on the Course, which would be my kind of catchphrase if there is such a thing. People have enjoyed it. So it's been a, I've had a blessed 45 years being involved in golf. I think uh, creative golf design, uh, when we're working together, I think they bring a, a complete package actually. But I think first and foremost, both of us are working for what the club require. We're not thinking what, what would be an ideal golf course or a brilliant way of doing that. We can make this course, course so, so, so tricky or whatever. This is done for the members. What's best for the members? What's going to be right so that they, they can enjoy playing the game? I first started working with Ken in 1998. Uh, that's when we first got together. And, and since then, we must have done at least 50, mainly renovations to different golf courses. Well, one of our early projects was at Coombe Hill, which just outside London, which was a well-established golf course that uh, they wanted to redo all their bunkers. So we did a job down there. And, getting the right style of bunker and getting everything just right for a traditional old course that uh, has got a very strong membership. Not easy to do to keep everybody happy, but we did a lovely job there. Opened up the, the trees a little bit, the bluebells came back and uh, a couple of changes to one or two of the greens. That was a project that uh, we, were, uh, we were both very proud of, I know that. One of my favourite courses in Britain is Hollingwood, which is just outside Nottingham. It's an absolutely cracking inland course, one of the best in the country to, to be asked to go there and help them out with their golf course. They had just started into a project of trying to turn it back into Heathland. It had got a little bit overgrown, a few silt overgrown, a bit, a few too many silver birches. And they wanted to do a bunker plan and a complete revolution of their golf course, but trying to keep it looking as it has done with a few changes to the greens. And we did a, a job there that uh, I particularly enjoyed the 10th green. We sort of fiddled around with that and made that look really good and make it a bit more challenging. So working on these top class courses like that uh, is an honor. Moortown was a very nice project we were involved in and the sort of process is uh, first of all we have a chat with the, the, the members, the committee, the captain and whoever else is going to be involved in the golf course. Get some ideas from them, what they require for us to do. Ken and I will walk around together and see how we can put all those ingredients together to make the whole and, and the course play as they would anticipate. So that, that's the kind of general way we've done it and Moortown was a cracking example. You're going with a classic Mackenzie golf course. I mean, it should be grade one listed as a golf course. So being involved there, you've got to get things just right, not only for the members, but for the history of the course and the club itself. 